What's good everybody welcome back to another tutorial today i'm going to be showing you how you can spice up your music videos like 10 times more just by using a simple framer method and basically what a framer is is just a one frame long adjustment layer that you would throw on right before a shake or some sort of transition and it can be anything simple just like a white flash like a white solid that pops up on screen anything that adds impact as you can see on this uh transition right here there is a subtle shake with a flashing effect and i'm going to show you guys exactly how you can make framers how to customize them and the ultimate method on getting the best framers in after effects so without further ado let's just get into the sauce boys all right so right here inside of after effects as you can see i have a clip with zero transitions it's pretty boring and we're going to be adding framers and shakes to this so i'm going to explain to you really quickly what a framer is it's basically a one frame long pre-transition that you throw on right before an actual transition to make it have like way more impact it's super cool they use in all the top music videos so i'm going to show you how to do it so what we're going to do first right here is come and add an adjustment layer and we're going to make that one frame long and we're going to slide that right before the transition and duplicate it so we have these two one frame long adjustment layers right before the transition and we're going to come and add a curves effect to the first one and we're going to up the brightness and bring down the contrast so we have a high contrast look and we're going to add an effect called minimax and we're going to make the radius 11 and that's pretty much it for the first framer we're going to hop right into the second one i mean it's super simple you guys are going to see but it adds a lot of impact so for this next one right here we're going to come and add a cc light burst effect and inside of cc light burst we're just going to bring down the ray length to something like 29 next we're going to add in a curves effect and just kind of copy the same curve that i'm doing if you want to get this result or just play around with it however you want and the next effect that we're going to be adding onto this is going to be a vr glow if you don't have this you can use regular after effects glow it works just as fine but i prefer vr glow and i'm going to add a wave warp effect to tie it all together and i'm going to play around with the wave height something like mm, 14 and we're going to make the wave type square and we're going to play around with the wave width try to get something that we like but i don't know i'm not, I'm not really feeling this i'm going to bring up or down maybe let's see yeah let's bring that all the way to like uh four and we're just going to duplicate that and change the wave type to noise and we're going to play around with these settings until we get our desired look and i think like this is perfect and that's literally it we have our two framers and as you can see that just already added a shit ton of impact and we haven't even added the shake yet and right before we get into the shake i'm just going to show you really quickly the framers that i offer inside of energy v3 so you're going to come up to your presets you're going to open up your energy v3 folder and you're going to come down to framers and you got 10 framers to choose from and i'm going to try evil curse but i don't really like that one on that clip i'm gonna try black and white glow yeah that looks super fire adds a bunch of impact yeah that already looks insane without even adding a shake so i'm just gonna add another adjustment layer and we're gonna be adding the shake onto this one so inside of your energy v3 if you have that you can just come to transitions and we're gonna try the earthquake or actually maybe not nah, the earthquake too we're gonna do earthquake too i think that's gonna be better and what i'm gonna do is the uh shuttering is a bit too high so i'm gonna bring that down to like 200 and we're gonna play that through and i think that's gonna look phenomenal and yeah pc is lagging on this last frame here i don't know why but all right perfect it's loaded so i'm gonna come and play that through again for you guys so this is what it looks like with all of these adjustment layers off as you can see pretty bland but if i were to toggle everything back on there's just so much impact in these literally these three little framers and one shake and if you want to just spice it up even more you can add on the quick shake which just adds some kind of like ambiance shake to it and you can just bring this adjustment layer back because we don't want it to interfere with the first shake like all the way here i think is fine so we have kind of like a soft shake right here at the end and if i were to play everything through again if my computer isn't killing itself this is what we're getting it looks absolutely fire so if you do want to grab energy v3 it'll be the first link down in the description below the bundle is currently on sale and the price is going to jump up on sunday so now is the best time to get all three energy packs at the best price but on that note i hope you guys enjoyed the video found it useful if you did don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and on that note i will catch you guys later peace